What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cars where I just give my thoughts and opinions on what's going on in the supercar community all the way from Ireland, believe it or not. <laughs> so I uh, hope you like this kind of stuff guys, if you're new thanks for clicking on the video and do consider subscribing, um, you know we are aiming for 2000 subscribers as we get bigger more stuff will happen on the channel um but as i said i like just like give my thoughts and opinions and do get involved in the comments below i do like chatting to you guys because this is probably going to be a very controversial one for maybe a lot of people i don't know um so I'm just going to jump straight into it because you've probably seen the title already so we're going to start off to where i came up with this title and what i was thinking about so basically there is another youtube channel called ice cream vlogs a very very good channel i love watching his videos uh he and if he's watching this thanks for the shout out he did give me a shout out on his channel um the reason i like his channel so much is he's very kind of he just sees straight through the bullshit on some of these car youtubers and other normal youtuber channels and just basically you know follows up on these kind of things and just kind of investigates them and i really like it and one of the videos he did was about mr organic which I didn't know who he was, had no idea he was involved in cars, whatever, and uh, basically I was like, when uh, I saw people saying he was clickbaiting and stuff, I got me thinking, going, I wonder, you know, do, what, what do you guys think? What, what do you guys think about uh, car YouTubers clickbaiting uh, or lying on their titles uh, and basically not being the video at all? Uh, the reason I'm asking that is I, I went down to this Mr. Organics channel uh, as I said, I've never checked out this channel before. I went into his, uh, he got an approval for a Ferrari, my my approval for a Ferrari. And um, now when I clicked on the video and I started watching it straight off the bat, this is not a channel for me. I think that channel is very specific for um, some people, but definitely not for me. Just, uh, just from first thoughts and watching that, just that one video, I'm just getting a very make it to a fake it vibe off that channel uh, and basically after watching the video uh, again where was the approval he basically just walked up I uh, saw a Ferrari that was parked up in a parking lot and says I'm getting a Ferrari at the end of the year but I'm not seeing what, what what approval like I'm still waiting for that kind of see when I see a title I expect to get that title within the video which you didn't there and if you go down through his comments people are saying it's clickbaiting and stuff like that um you know so i was kind of like right yeah no <laughs> that, that channel will not be for me um definitely not but then i was thinking who else what other car youtubers do it and guys comment below like let me know who do you think are the biggest clickbaiters in the car youtube scene uh, and does it annoy you does it frustrate you do you really care i just want to know for me personally myself it does it does annoy me i'm gonna say this right now going forward if you feel that i do any clickbait titles do let me know in the comments even message me on instagram wherever let me know because it's the last thing i want to be doing i i don't want to do clickbait titles if you look at my titles my videos i keep it to what i'm talking about and i don't i hate clickbaiting uh it's just deceiving and it's not nice um so i just one two other people or other channels that do it DD are another example. Now, they haven't been, they've literally calmed down on the clickbait and stuff uh, lately, I feel. Um, they still do it, um, but not, not as bad. I'm just giving you an example here, guys. This, I'm just giving you examples of videos I think were clickbait. And with one or two of DD's videos, uh, one of them was trading my P1 hypercar for two supercars, the McLaren 765LT and the 620R. But like he's putting down the title as you're, you've traded it for the two of them but you didn't trade them for the two of them you didn't buy the cars so why didn't you put down possibly looking at trade trading my p1 you know whatever again i hate when people lie about this kind of stuff uh, it does annoy me and then the other one was um my first um trading my p1 for my first supercar purchase or i can't remember the one the one with the sls anyway again he made it as he purchased the sls but he didn't do you know it's stuff like this that really grinds my gears pun intended so um i don't like that kind of stuff uh really annoys me so i just kind of want to hear from you guys as well what you think of this stuff stradman does it uh or doesn't do it really a lot like in fairness but like one of his one of his most recent videos um my Lamborghini Aventador crash into a police car like it 
he could have just put down my previous the previous owner crashed my savage title Lamborghini Aventador like I, I guess I guess about the whole thing having to make it a wow factor that is the way YouTube is I think a lot of people who want to teach on YouTube maybe say to you yeah make it make it a wow fact forever but it's 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 a basically a touch of bs um like i would just couldn't word it like that because i just think you're just lying to people and it, I, as far as i'm concerned and maybe i'm just old school but i don't like it um vehicle virgins another person who uh clickbaits a lot uh one of his videos was a huge problem with my 600 lt there wasn't a huge problem with it it was a bolt um again pure bullshit out of him uh, with clickbait titles um i think life of Palace does does the odd few as well like joe i, I don't want to fall into that trap as a youtuber i know when you knew at it but i refuse to fall into the uh try and clickbait it clickbait it till you make it or fake if you make it kind of thing for me for this channel if i was to have the four to even get a project car going the ultimate goal is obviously an r8 i'd be happy like dream that would i'd be content I mean, I don't, I'm not looking to be like, I would love to be huge, but I wouldn't want to try and fake my way to it either. Um, like even Supercars London, he brought out a video. Um, it wasn't really a clickbait title. He said he, he found out what was wrong with his Mercy Lago, but he went away and made a 14 minute video on a cracked pipe and dragged the living holy shit out of it, like for no reason, just to get a video out and get ads up there as well. So, you know, it, it's, it's stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it just annoys me. I'm just interested to hear your thoughts and opinions below uh, in the comment section below. And like, again, guys, I'll give you examples of people who don't do clickbaiting. Look at Manny Koshman. Look at my, Manny Koshman's titles are brilliant. It is exactly what it is. Like, Manny, look at Manny Koshman. Um, he doesn't clickbait one bit. He could if he wanted to, but sure, if he wanted to go out and buy <laughs> whatever car he wanted, he can. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's so some car, I just don't get it. I mean, just say it in a way where it just, I suppose you just need that wow factor really and to just draw people in and get those subscribers. So I don't know guys, it's just something I wanted to, to bring your attention. Maybe, maybe you want to comment below and, and let me know what you think of it. Um, but this is the kind of stuff I like, I like to talk about as if I was talking to you in person. So yeah, that's it for today guys. That video um, might have a longer video out um, tomorrow or I do try and post every day. I, I, I try to. Um, but yeah, hopefully you like this kind of stuff. Uh, you enjoyed the video. So yeah, till the next one guys. Stay safe. Peace out. Uh, do, don't forget to actually subscribe, like and comment below. And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.